I can see all of these wonderful pictures that they have up. Indianapolis Colts fan Carla Montgomery is living in the moment. And money, it's nothing because we may not ever have the Super Bowl ever again. This is the first time the biggest event in American sports has taken the stage in her hometown of Indianapolis. It's a bittersweet moment that hasn't changed her attitude for the game, despite the fact that her team, the Colts, are not playing in it. We love it. We love the game of football. But Montgomery does not love it enough to shell out thousands of dollars to buy a ticket to the main event February 5th. America's love affair with football has helped the NFL score record ratings and revenues. It also has made a Super Bowl ticket one of the most expensive purchases in sports, even for Lucas Oil Stadium season ticket holders like New York Giants fan Kevin Stumpf. Our tickets are $79 for each game, and we looked on StubHub, and they were going for a... 3100 or something like that. that yeah, for the same seat. Same, same exact seat. So. Stump says even though his team is playing, that price is beyond his budget. He's reluctant to check the updated prices on the secondary market. Honestly, haven't looked because I was scared if it was close to what I'd be willing to pay that I would do it. I probably wouldn't pay more than $1,000 for a ticket. Uh, that's pretty steep. But um, it would be worth coming over here for this game because my team's in it. New England Patriots fan Dean Tambling instead opted for a $25 ticket that got him access to media day in the lead up to the Super Bowl. He says he is disappointed he can't afford the ultimate Super Bowl experience. There's nothing like being at a professional sporting event, no, no matter where it is or who's playing, whether it's football, baseball, basketball. I've done the NASCAR thing a lot. I mean, there's just, no, there's just nothing like being there. That allure drives up the demand and price for access to the Super Bowl. It also has led to a cottage industry of counterfeit tickets, says NFL attorney Anastasia Danius. From year to year, we see, you know, up to in more than hundreds of fans that come to the gate with counterfeit tickets, stolen tickets, um, who, who have no other recourse because they've gotten those bad tickets. Danius says the best way for fans to enjoy the Super Bowl is to buy tickets from a reputable outlet. And if the price is too high, join the millions around the world who will watch it on television from the comfort of their couch or barstool. From Super Bowl 46 in Indianapolis, Indiana, Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News.